we'll see the New Orleans Pelicans taking on the San Antonio Spurs. Welcome to the Tuesday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan to call the game with our analysts Clark Kellogg and Steve Kirk. The starting fives for our game. Here are tonight's starting lineups. And as we take a long look here at Kawhi Leonard, guys, what's your thought on him? A very encouraging start to Leonard's career, Kevin. He's a tough defender, an excellent rebounder, and his offensive game expanded pretty quickly his rookie season as well. I expect his offense to continue growing, too. His huge hands help him in that regard, Steve. Great nose for the ball, high rate of steals, an expert at stripping it away. Young teams guys tend to get run over in the Western Conference and the Pelicans were a young team last year and guess what they got run over in a conference where everybody needs to be tough to even think about the playoffs New Orleans really was overmatched tip off goes to New Orleans here's Gordon Duncan with the block they recover it and that one's good by Davis Parker with it. Kicks to Duncan. Back to Parker. That one goes. Come. And Clark, as you said, with the Pelicans last year in their final year as the Hornets, you know, the West just ate them alive as they put up a 15 and 37 record, Steve, against the rest of the conference. And it wasn't just any one division; it was every division in the West. But look, the conference was loaded. The Pelicans, or at least I should say, the Hornets. At the time, we're a young team. They weren't going anywhere. Not enough talent. But they're on the rise now. They've, they've added some significant talent. For New Orleans, they've gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. And Holiday kicks to Davis. Leonard with the steal. Now here's the fast break. Parker leading the way. Reverses. Davis with the block. Now here is Holiday, and the layup's good off the glass. Well, they just gave him two points. Defensively, you're going to have to tighten things up here. That's that's not a good sign. For San Antonio, they've gone two for four from the field so far today. Now here's Parker. It's stolen by Smith, and a fast break now for the Pelicans, and it's Gordon that time on the assist by Evans. Now that is a quick bucket. Pretty good in transition. That's right. That's exactly right. He loves when he gets the chance to get out and run. That's when he's at his best. Here's Parker. He dishes it to Splitter. Excellent defense there from Smith. Well defended. And he's not someone who responds well to that kind of defensive pressure. Probably the biggest knock on Anthony Davis you could make his rookie season is that he missed a lot of time with injuries, and that's really not something you knock a guy for. Ankle, a concussion. He missed several stretches. Shot clock at six. And that's Evans penetrating. Here's Davis, and he uses the glass on the layup. Well, you gotta love his determination on the glass coming out of the gate strong. Spurs trail by four. Pass to Duncan. Crew on the 14-footer. Duncan's got his second basket of the game. And for Anthony Davis, a slender build. Uh, how he weathers the physicality of the NBA in some people's minds, Steve, is a question. Well, it's always hard to predict when a player comes out of college after his freshman year just how much more he's going to fill out. But he's got broad shoulders. He looks like he's got the ability to add muscle. And I think as he does that, yeah, he's going to be probably best suited to play the power forward position long term rather than center. He always knows where his teammate's going to be, and Kevin, that will let him put the ball where he wants it, right waiting for him. Spurs have gone 3 of 7 from the field since we've gotten underway. Parker dishes to splitter. Kept alive, Duncan. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Duncan's got six points. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. Feeds it to Davis. Back to Holiday. Near the three-point line, it's Gordon. 
Rebound by Tony Parker. Boy, that's a frustrating one there. Easy look at the hoop. Here's Leonard. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Well, Kawhi Leonard taken 15th overall in the 2011 draft. And believe it or not, he's the Spurs' highest drafted rookie since they took Tim Duncan number one overall back in 97. It just shows you the legacy of the Spurs' success over the years. And going back to Kawhi Leonard, he earned minutes in Coach Popovich's rotation from the first game on. And part of the reason he did, he's got great versatility defensively primarily, but he's a quick learner, a quick study, understands things, doesn't take long to pick things up. And when you're a first-year player, that can separate you from a lot of guys and get you in the rotation, especially with a veteran team like the Spurs. Mm, tough break for the defense. He took the heat and drew the whistle. Yep, but when you get there late, that's what happens. Anderson a screen on Leonard. Here's Aminu. And another shot. And there's the bucket on the layup from Steamsma. Steamsma's got his first bucket in this one. And Bellinelli kicks to Genova. Taken away by Holiday. To the middle. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. And he will take the ball right into the teeth of the defense. And let's get your take, guys, on the hustle stats for the Pelicans. Early on, guys, excellent work on the boards here. I mean, you've got to like those second-chance points they're getting. Yeah, I do, too, and I, I think they're also getting some good looks in transition, doing a nice job of running the floor. 132 left to play in the first quarter. As great a player as Manu is on the court, his true impact on the NBA might not be felt until years from now. His success has captivated South America, and we should be seeing a lot of players influenced by him come into the NBA down the line. Shooting for San Antonio, Manu Ginobili. Two shots. And the first one drops. And Clark, you mentioned Ginobili's influence abroad. He grew up in Bahia Blanca, Argentina, a basketball hotbed down there this is woven into the fabric of, of everything that he is you know he, he does he comes from a basketball family coaches players uh, his brother played professionally in europe but uh, just a, a tremendous player and human being manu ginobili obviously representing his country in the nba now here's aminu dia with the steal 112 left to play here in the first Stolen by Rivers. And New Orleans pushing it up now. Here's Aminu. The shot misses. So the Spurs will take it the other way. Ginobili against Rivers. Ginobili attacking. And he gets the bucket. Boy, nice work inside. Tough to get that shot over a big defender like that. Oh, that takes skill and creativity, Steve.